Mr. Regan, could I have a word? Oh, Miss Newman, yes, of course. Mr. Quinton would like to speak to you in his office. Oh, I see. Nothing bad, I hope. Not at all. We just have something to discuss with you. Very well. Mr. Regan, thank you for making the time to see me. Oh, not at all, Mr. Quinton. Always a pleasure. This won't take up much of your time. We have some new tasks for your division. Tasks? After the attempted cyber attack on our systems a couple of months ago. Right, yes. But what tasks would we be undertaking? We'll need you to create a small group of people who will report to Mr. Quinton directly. They will be looking into the Thorn Corp fanatics as we find a way to counter their attempts at subterfuge. Wow, that's a big task, Mr. Quinton. It is. You will be given a week to report back to us. A, a week? I may need more time than that. This is an issue that must be stopped. Right now, this is a quiet situation. Melton is unaware of our clashes with Thorncorp loyalists. We don't want that getting out of hand, do we? N no. No, of course not. You're right there, George. Yeah, yeah, I'm all good, Lily. Thanks. Wait. Actually, I might need your help with something. Shoot. You hate Thorncorp, right? Yeah. I don't like to talk about it. I know, I know, but Mr. Quinton has asked me to put together some key players in the company to monitor the Thorncorp loyalists. Maybe you could help with that. What's the pay? Sorry? What extra do we get paid for doing this? Um, oh, there are no bonuses to this. It's what's right to sustain the company. George, I've lived on the streets thanks to Dataline and Thorncore. I need the money, desperately. I know that. But what about the company? If it falls into the hands of Thorncorp loyalists, then you'll be in hell. Surely you understand that? Yeah, I do. <sighs> it's fine, whatever. I can just ask someone else. No, George, wait. Oi, Simon! Uh, hey. You all right, George? Could we have a quick chat? What about? Um, uh, well, it's... It's a professional conversation. Just tell me, George. I'm in a rush. Oh, right. Uh, it, it was just about the Thorncorp loyalists trying to find a way to stop them. Yeah, well, we all want them stopped. But we've got our jobs to do. Now I've got to go. What was his problem? No clue. He's usually much more upbeat and cheery. Wherever he's going, he's in a rush. Huh? Oh, Lily. Morning. Shh. What's wrong? Simon's at it again. Simon? What do you mean? Remember what we said yesterday? About him acting odd? Yeah. But he might just be ill. But he's not even being his usual self anymore. He's different. What do you mean? I said hello to him a little while ago. He just looked through me, like he don't know me anymore. Very odd indeed. What do you think he's up to? Stay here, Lily. I'll go and check. Call for Miss Newman if I don't come back in five minutes. Wait, what? Mr. Quinton said we had moles in Quinton Technologies. People who believe in Thorncorp, despite the illegal activities they performed. If Simon is one of them, I need to know if you can help too. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Reagan. Thank you, Lily. Nearly done. Hang on, I'm getting there. You need to be quicker. I think people are starting to notice that I'm not being myself. Working on it. So, that whole uptight floor manager thing was just for you fitting in? Do we have time for this? I can listen and work. Yeah, I don't like this world. Why? In my world, 
data line took over. It was a huge explosion in Moulton. I was out in the city when it happened. I saw this. Bright orange light fill the streets. A heat haze hitting us. I ran home. I hoped things would be okay, but then the sirens rang. There was no organisation. The message was just run. No police or anything? Nothing like that. From what I understood it, the explosion had released a chemical into the city. So I ran. There's some woods on the outskirts of Moulton and I went through there. I could see others running and I lost sight of them. Until eventually, I ended up here. What happened to the others? They're in this world too. It was so fast. I don't know what happened. All I know is, in this world, Data Line fell two years ago, and Thorncorp tried to set off the same explosion at the exact same time as it happened in my world. You think they're connected? I'm no scientist, Andrew. But I reckon something happened in this world to cause this to happen. I've got no way home. No way to see my loved ones. And that's why I hate this place. I'm sorry. Whatever. What was that? Is it finished? Yeah, we've got access to the mainframe of Quinton Technologies. What are you both doing in here? George, what's wrong? You've been acting weird. I came to see if you're all right. What's going on? Who is this man? This is the janitor who works here. What are you doing on the computer? What is this? George, it's fine. You can go back to your work. I don't believe you. Something's changed. Sir, Simon was just asking for help regarding a computer issue. Simon? Why are you calling him that? My floor manager, yes. I'm getting security. Ah! Get off me! Get off! I'm sorry, George. I can't let you do that. Uh, uh, no, Simon, please! Andrew, get to work. We don't have much time. I've got into the database. What do you want me to do now? Download the access codes. Hurry! Five minutes. Oh, George. Miss Newman, I don't quite know how to explain this. All done? Yeah. Helena should have everything. Helena Simmons? Oh, fantastic. Sorry? Hello? Mr. Regan, what's going on in there? Oh, God. You're going to cover for us, all right? All right, all right. Come on. Hello, Miss Newman. Lily said that something was going on here, Simon. Could you explain? Yes, George was just helping me. Liar. Who else is in there, George? I... Um... They're hacking into the database. You little snitch. Security! No! Ah! He's getting away! I'm sorry, Miss Newman. I... Not to worry, George. At least he let you go. What are they even planning? I don't know. They were hacking into the main database. One of the janitors was with him. They mentioned Eleanor Simmons. We must shut down the database. I will go and inform Mr. Quinton. Prepare the staff for a full lockdown. Yes, Miss Newman. Everyone, stop what you're doing. We're putting the Quinton technology system into a full lockdown. We've been through the drills before. This shouldn't be anything new now. The difference is, this is for real. We have two people in the building trying to shut down our network. Please remain calm and seated whilst we sort out this issue. We won't have long until they initiate a full network lockdown. Come on! I know they are there. I can see it on the screen. Look. Ah, crap. Please, hurry. You are sure about this? Positive. Mr. Regan is preparing the network for a full shutdown, but we must act fast. Very well. Go to them. Assure our employees there is nothing to fear. Yes, Axel. Our information is at risk. I know. Initiate shutdown on the network. Keep yourself on dormant settings. Agreed. We cannot allow the system to be compromised. Alright everyone, the power is now off, our network is now offline. Please remain calm. Use your phone torches for light and the building is now in full lockdown. We ask that you keep between your work area and the communal spaces during this time, whilst our security conduct a search of the building for these intruders. Please keep your name tags on at all times. 
and please be safe. There we go. Found my torch. Did you get it? I bloody hope so. It should be on this memory stick, but how do we get out? Well, we're near the emergency exits. With the power off, he should be able to sneak out before they unload the cavalry. Alright, let's go. Mr. Reagan, I notice it did not take you long to find some phone corp loyalists. Indeed, sir. We saw them in the server room, in the back. But we fear they may be on the move in the emergency exits. Then I assume you have a security team meeting them in those stair cores? Of course, Mr. Quinton. Excellent. Elizabeth, stay with the employees. Myself and Mr. Reagan will take care of this. I'm more than capable, Axel. I know, but you are the one that people look to. You handle these issues, you, you are the right person to stay up here to take over for me. Very well. Mr. Reagan, with me. Yes, sir. How much further? Six more floors. Oh god, I need more exercise. Span out. We've got five floors to search. Stop, come on, through here. This sixth floor has been emptied. It'll be easier to spot. <sighs> this floor seems pretty empty. Where are we going? There's another set of stairs on the other side of the building. If we just search through people's drawers here. <sighs> what are you looking for? Just some spare name tags. It might help us blend in. Here, put this on. Um, well... What is it? Hurry up. Funnily enough, I don't think people are going to believe that I'm Catherine from accounting. Just shut up and put it on. Sweep the area! Run! There they are! Get them! You first. What about you? Stop playing a hero and go. I'll hold them off. Why? Get that information to Eleanor. Now go. No! Go! I'm sorry! Stop right there! Alright, alright, my hands are raised. Simon? Yeah, it's me. <sighs> Take him in. They've got him. Alright, everyone. Security have captured the intruders. We will be working to set up the network once more soon. Elizabeth, please, may I have a private word with you? Of course. You too, George. Yes, Mr. Quinton. I have some news for you both. What is it? Security have already captured one intruder, Simon Wellin, the floor manager for the executive offices. What about the janitor? The other intruder was janitor? Yes, we must find him before we raise the lockdown. Took the words right out of my mouth, Mr. Reagan. You and Elizabeth will head the search for this janitor. I shall speak with Mr. Wellin. Andy, what's going on now? <laughs> Richie, I, uh, I, I. You look in shock, mate. What's happened? Uh, the, 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 the intruders. Calm down, right? Where were you? I, 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 I lost my name. To, I, I think it's here. They'll be, they'll be searching for me. Who will? Ah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, mate. Calm down. Who will be searching for you? It's a lockdown. Richie! Anyone without their name tags are class as suspicious and I left mine here. Well, in all fairness, I'd no idea you were working for I wasn't. I got called in. Oh, God. I'll cover for you, mate. Trust me. <sighs> Thank you, Richie. You're a real mate. It's all good. Just, where were you anyway? Executive offices. Bloody hell, and you run all the way down here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a long day for you, that's for sure. There he is. Which one? Him, the shorter one. Leave him alone. Excuse me? He's done nothing wrong. He was seen running with the intruder. I, uh, uh, I wasn't. You've got his name tag. He's just come here to get it. He's done nothing wrong at all. It's your rules that have made him like this. Sorry? Andy is a hard worker. You can't do this. I saw him. Yes, running for his bloody name tag. Mr. Regan? He was working at a computer terminal in the back server room. That wasn't me. I'm certain. He says it wasn't him. 
So it wasn't him, right? You can't just pin blame on whoever you want. Right. Obviously, Mr. Regan was mistaken. But I... That's enough. We must continue the search. Guards, with me. What? I knew it was him. It wasn't. Watch your backs, both of you. If this risks my job, you'll both know full well. You're right, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. What's this about a computer terminal? It's a long story. Let me go. Let. Me. Go. There was a saying in my country. Geneist den Krieg, den der Freigen geschleiklich. Do you know what that means? Well? No. Enjoy the war, because peace will be terrible. And what a terrible time we are living in. I know who you are. I very much doubt that. Born in 1918, the year the Great War ended. Your father didn't fight in the war. <laughs> you have done your research. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Wellen. The war taught us much. I have ways to make you talk. 